Welcome to the CompTIA A Plus 220 1101 Core 1 exam. This is Objective 3.1 Adapters and Converters. It happens to all of us. We're ready to connect some devices together. We pull out our cables and we realize we don't have the right cables for this particular interface. But there are ways to convert interfaces from one format to another. And to be able to do that, we'll need an adapter or a converter. Usually we're making these conversions between systems that are electrically compatible. This makes it very easy to have one interface on one end of a cable and a different type of interface on the other end of the cable. And we plug both of them together and still everything works properly. Or maybe times instead of adapting one interface to another we need to convert those signals from one format to another a good example is if we had an adapter that allows us to connect usb to something like an ethernet cable sometimes these can be temporary fixes or they just might be permanent here's an example of an adapter that has been converting electrically compatible systems dvid which is the digital version of DVI, is electrically compatible with HDMI, which of course is also a digital medium. These can be in a single adapter that we see here, or it might be a cable that has the DVD, uh, DVID connector on one side and the HDMI connector on the other. You don't have to have any type of converter in the middle. There's nothing that needs to be powered. You simply connect these together and transfer the signals. Well, here's another converter that we can see here. If you look at the DVI and HDMI adapters, it's pretty basic adapters. You can switch the signals easily. Just put it on the interface and plug the cable in. So there's also a similar compatibility on the analog video side with a DVI-A for analog connecting to a VGA connection, which is also analog. Although there is compatibility between these two formats, the only supported resolution is 640 by 480. You may need a single adapter to make this work. You can see an example of one of these here with a VGA on one side and DVA, DVI analog on the other. If you need to connect VGA, there is an analog signal to DVID, which is a digital signal. Then you'll need something in the middle that will convert the signal from analog to digital. So you'll have the compatibility between these two systems. But if all you need is simple connectivity of analog signals, then you need an adapter that has DVI-A for analog on one side and VGA connector on the other. If you have a relatively new laptop, you may find that there is no RJ45 or wired ethernet connection on that laptop. It is designed to be used over wireless ethernet, but there may be times when you need that wired connection. To be able to use that wired ethernet connection on your laptop, you might want to use a converter like this one that converts between USB connection and provides you with an ethernet connection on the other side. USB-C is coming in very common these days, and you'll find that to use older hardware, you may need to convert it to a USB-A. So you'll take some sort of converter or a hub and it'll look similar to this plug. USB-C is becoming more and more common and as people need to use different kinds of devices these kinds of hubs are popping up everywhere. Even I like to use them as well. So USB-C can take all kinds of different connections from this hub. If we look a little closer you can see there is USB-3, USB-2, I believe there's different SD cards as well. So there's all kinds of different options for all kinds of different connectivity. Okay, we're at the end of objective 3.1. Which signal is electrical? So A, VGA, B, DVI-A, C, DVI-I, or D, RCA. And the answer is DVI-I. 
DVI-I is electrical, but DVI-A is analog. Thank you for watching.